and Nina has the weather. Hi, Nina. After yesterday's heavy rain in the north, most it is going to be a dry day. And although it's quite cloudy, we'll start to see some sunshine breaking through for this afternoon. But Nina's going to change all that for us. <laughs> Hi, Nina. Hi there. Good morning. If only I had the power to change it all. Thankfully, I have got managed to get rid of that heavy rain that we saw yesterday. So for most of us, it is going to be mainly fine. A few flies in the ointment, though, for today's forecast, because we are likely to see some thicker cloud at times, particularly along the south coast. So here, we're looking at the risk of some rain at times. And also, it's a fairly murky start, and we'll keep a lot of mist and low cloud across parts of eastern Scotland and east in England but we will be able to find you some sunshine around certainly across North Cornwall North Devon the brighter skies further south it does look like it will be a little bit cloudier through this afternoon with the risk of one or two showers around and that really affects the temperatures pegged down to around 12 or 13 degrees but come further inland where we pick up that sunshine we're looking at around 17 to 18 clouding over a touch across North Sea coastal areas of England and for Scotland and some fairly humid air for Scotland so that could trigger some sharp showers in the east come the afternoon but for the northwest highlands given some sunshine here we could see temperatures into the low 20s for northern ireland it's a drier day compared to yesterday fairly cloudy but temperatures at 13 to 14 degrees some sunshine still across parts of wales and as we look to the afternoon for lords i think it will generally stay dry might just be a little bit cloudy at times but monday a greater risk of seeing some rain and potentially some disruption to play so let's move that forecast through the night then i think it will stay quite a bit of silver We'll stay with quite a bit of cloud through the night tonight. Again, that mist and that murk building. A little bit of patchy rain coming and going, but what we will notice is quite a mild night for most temperatures will stay in double figures at around 10 to 12 degrees. So it's a great start to things tomorrow morning. We've got a few showers around and we'll keep a little bit of rain at times down across parts of Kent and Essex. We might see a few showers being triggered as well for eastern England and eastern Scotland. Further west, a better chance of that cloud breaking up to give some brighter spells and still that mild air holding on for Western Scotland, Glasgow, the risk of seeing potentially 22 degrees tomorrow afternoon. But any warmth is going to slowly drain away through Tuesday and Wednesday as it turns cooler, but a lot of dry weather around through the part, middle part of next week. Not a huge amount of sunshine though. That's all from me. I'll be back in around half an hour. Back to you. You did bring a little bit of sunshine, Nina. 22 degrees in Glasgow. That's good stuff. Yes. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Nina, is bringing us a ray of sunshine this weekend <laughs> because in some places, Nina, there's sunshine and there'll be skies just like the one behind you. There will, Naga, there will be some sunshine around today. The Northwest Highlands, the place to be in terms of temperatures, but not everywhere. Whilst for most today, it is going to be fine and dry with some sunny spells. As ever, we've got a few exceptions to that. And the one that we're keeping a close eye on is southern counties of England, where we could see a little bit more cloud and the risk of some rain. You can see that lurking in the English Channel, throwing in a few showers at times. Some sunshine just sitting to the north of that and also a little bit of mist and low cloud clinging to the coast of northeast England and for eastern Scotland. So four o'clock this afternoon the better chance of seeing some sunshine to the southwest is along the north coast and inland across parts of Hampshire and Wiltshire here the brightest of the skies and we could see temperatures of 17 to 18 degrees. The mist and the low cloud gathering around the coast of East Anglia, Lincolnshire and Yorkshire through the afternoon. Again you need to head further west to get some of those brighter skies and still with some humid air sitting across eastern Scotland that could trigger some sharp showers and we're looking at 22 degrees for the northwest highlands in any sunnier spells through this afternoon whilst for northern Ireland it's not as wet as it was yesterday here a little bit on the cloudy side and across Wales I think we'll see some sunny spells at times so for Cardiff temperatures at 17 degrees at Lords today we could see temperatures of 17 or 18 the cloud will come and go it does look like it's going to be thicker tomorrow with the greater chance of seeing some dis disruption to play through the night tonight we always keep a little bit of patchy rain across central and eastern England. A lot of low cloud tonight, some mist and some fog, but what that does do is it acts as a blanket, so a mild night to come. Temperatures staying in double figures for most places. Although it's mild tomorrow morning, it is going to be fairly grey first thing in the morning and always keeping that cloud at its thickest along the east coast. A better chance of seeing some sunshine the further west you are again. Northwest Scotland, a really good spot for some sunny spells through the afternoon. We might see one or two showers in the east and for parts of 
Kent and Sussex the risk of some heavier rain. Temperatures in the brighter spells could get to around 20 degrees, but then that warmth starts to tail off through Tuesday and Wednesday. It does turn cooler, but with pressure relatively high. Not too much rain around, although we're still searching for a little bit more of that sunshine around. Nagar and John, back to you. Searching for sunshine in May, who'd have guessed? Nina, thanks so much. And Nina has the weather. After yesterday's heavy rain in the north, for most it is going to be a dry day. And although it's quite cloudy, we'll start to see some sunshine breaking through for this afternoon. OK, Nina, thank you. We'll see you later. So we lost the Eurovision Song Contest. Can we compete with the rest of Europe for the weather? Let's find out. Uh, Nina joins us. Nina. Of course we can't. <laughs> no, well, actually, no saying that, it's not great across the rest of Europe. We really don't think we should complain about what we've got. In fact, they're throwing up a few of their showers for today. But away from the south coast, a lot of places should be fine and dry with some sunshine. It is just the risk of those showers to the south that we need to watch out for. See, already on the satellite pitch, you can see that thicker cloud. We then have this slice of sunshine through Wales, the Midlands, and East Anglia and after yesterday's heavy rain it is still quite cloudy for Northern Ireland and Scotland but thankfully a good deal drier and we will start to see the cloud breaking up in the north to see some brighter skies that is away from the east coast because always here some mist and some low cloud around starting off across Cornwall and Devon however the best chance of holding on to the sunshine along the north coast a greater risk of seeing some cloud further south as we head in towards parts of Kent and Sussex there'll be some bright skies at times a little bit cooler to the south but move further inland and 17 or 18 is possible. For parts of Lincolnshire and Yorkshire it will be quite misty and grey along the coast. 13 degrees in Newcastle and just 12 in Aberdeen and in fact still some air across the Scottish Highlands mean that we could see a few sharp showers here but it is quite warm and muggy. In the sunshine 22 degrees is possible. For Northern Ireland a little bit on the cloudy side but thankfully drier than it was yesterday. Across Wales we'll see some sunshine here. Temperatures in Cardiff at 17 degrees. Overnight tonight, a lot of that mist and low cloud moves further inland. Acting as a blanket, it could produce some patchy light rain across central and southeastern England, and it also holds temperatures up a mild night, 10 to 12 degrees to begin Monday morning, but a slow start to Monday. And that we've got a lot of that cloud around grey skies welcoming many of us, and always keeping some of that mist and low cloud to the east coast with a risk of some rain to the southeast. Better chance of seeing some sunshine break breaking through for parts of Northern Ireland, Western Scotland, potentially Northwest England, and still could be pretty warm for Northwest Scotland. Elsewhere, 17 or 18 is the best that we can hope for. Although temperatures start to drop away around the middle part of the week. I think a lot of places should be dry. There might be one or two showers, not a huge amount of sunshine, but at least for today, it will be mainly dry and bright. John and Naga, back to you. Nina, thanks so much. See you soon. Let's see what the weather's got in store this Sunday. Uh, Nina has the forecast. Good morning, Nina. Morning, blue skies. Good. Yes, good morning, John and Naga. There will be some blue. We've already got some blue skies, actually. Certainly parts of Wales, the Midlands and East Anglia waking up to some bright skies. There's a little bit more cloud elsewhere, and it does look like that cloud will hold in the south, bringing the risk of some rain at times. The satellite picture shows us that big hole in the cloud across that central swathe. Either side, there is more cloud around. Some of it will lift and break, and we'll see some brighter skies. And overall, compared to yesterday's torrential rain across parts of Northern Ireland, southwest Scotland, Northern England, England, there is a big improvement for today. As the afternoon wears on, we'll see this rain just lingering in the English Channel, producing one or two showers. So for parts of South Devon and Cornwall, we might see the odd spot of rain, but the north coast holding on to some brighter skies. There'll be some sunshine move further inland, and where we get those brighter skies, temperatures could lift to 17 or 18 degrees quite widely. But along North Sea coastal areas, as we move up across the Wash, Yorkshire and Lincolnshire, here that mist and low cloud keeping things very cool. It's a simple Similar story for the east coast of Scotland. We might see one or two heavy showers being triggered come the afternoon. But with some sunshine to the northwest highlands, probably our highest temperature, maybe at 22 degrees here for the afternoon. Northern Ireland, at least it's dry, but a little bit on the cloudy side. For Wales, we'll keep that well-broken cloud and some sunshine throughout the afternoon. But the cloud thickens through the night tonight. We'll see that mist and that murk coming further inland, and we could see a little bit of rain at times across central southeastern England. But 
with that blanket sitting across the country, we're looking at a mild night with temperatures staying in double figures for many places, 10 to 12 degrees. So a mild start to things tomorrow morning, but a little bit grey and cloudy. And we'll always keep that mist and low cloud along the east coast where again it will stay cool. One or two places brightening up, if I can pick out northwest Scotland, a favoured spot again, northwest England, potentially parts of Northern Ireland. And it does look like we'll see some more rain down across the far southeast of England. Thicker cloud in London on Tuesday, but for Tuesday and Wednesday, I think many places it will be dry. There might just be the odd shower at times, but things starting to cool off as the week goes on. So at least there's some warmth around today. The Northwest Highlands looks like a good spot to see some of that sunshine. More details in half an hour. John, Nagger, back to you. Know where we should go for the sunshine. Let's then. go now. <laughs> Thanks, Nina. Now it's time for this week's Click, and the team has been looking at new technology which could change the face of our living rooms. Dear Google, I'm in West London and I'm very hungry. Could you please send me the location of the nearest restaurants as soon as possible? Thanks. After yesterday's heavy rain in the north, for most it is going to be a dry day. And although it's quite cloudy, we'll start to see some sunshine breaking through for this afternoon. It's not going to be too bad for most of us. There's always some exceptions, isn't there? But for many, it's fine and it's dry. We'll see a little bit of sunshine around. There will be more cloud at times along North Sea coastal areas and always the risk of this rain in the south. The current satellite picture is picking up that white cloud sitting through the English Channel across northern France. It does contain some showers and we'll just see those at times moving in further inland. But I think away from that, some sunshine across parts of Wales, the Midlands and towards East Anglia. Anglia. A much drier day further north, although it started off on a cloudy note, we'll see some sunshine breaking through. The best chance of the brighter skies across southwest England is along the north coast of Devon and Cornwall. So here probably are higher temperatures. And inland areas will see 17 to 18 degrees across England and Wales. We might get to 20 somewhere through the Midlands. As we head to the east coast, well here we start to pick up a bit more clouds, some mist and some fog being dragged in off the North Sea. So a rather cool 12 degrees for Aberdeen and we could see a few showers for eastern Scotland. But the northwest highlands seeing some sunshine really lifting temperatures into the low 20s. Not quite as high as that for Northern Ireland, although it is drier than it was yesterday. It's staying on the cloudy side. For Wales, we'll keep some fine sunshine throughout the afternoon. Overnight tonight, however, more of us see a lot of that mist and low cloud. Becomes fairly extensive across the country and we'll see a little bit of rain for the Midlands and the southeast corner. But what we'll notice is a mild, quite a muggy night with loads of 10 to 12 degrees and it does lead to a grey start to things at tomorrow morning. A little bit of rain around at times. In fact, we might see one or two showers, but always the risk of perhaps this rain becoming a touch heavier down across the southeast corner. The best chance of some sunshine tomorrow afternoon, western Scotland, northwest England. And again, here for western Scotland, we're looking at temperatures in the low 20s. For western areas, in some sunshine, 18, 19. But along that east coast, where we've always got the grey skies, more like 12 or 13. Temperatures tail off then around the middle part of the week it will turn cooler but with pressure relatively high not too much rain but quite a bit of cloud around so enjoy the sunshine that we do get through today John Nagger back to you Nina thanks very much she, she will try to give us a little bit of sunshine every now and then brighten things up indeed Bonnie yeah. Tyler could have, to, have some brightening up needed yeah she must be waking up this morning wondering uh, whether it was a great idea disappointing evening for Britain for Bonnie Tyler at the Eurovision last night but um, well if you like high drama it was still a, an evening to savour